how to hit the drop shot. Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and Michelle from Facebook asked me to make a video on this, and it's easy to see why. You have your opponent way out of position, he's pinned deep, and you decide to go for the dropper. But it floats too high and deep over the net, and your opponent comes in and happily crushes it for a winner. Talk about going from satisfaction to embarrassment in two seconds. But it's okay, because in this video, I've got three tips for you that's gonna help you hit that drop shot for a winner and give you that satisfaction that you're looking for. Be sure to subscribe now so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. I don't know about you, but I always loved this shot, but I couldn't do it consistently until a great coach explained it. Right off the bat, normally you're gonna wanna use your drop shot when you're inside the baseline, at least a few feet. Otherwise, the ball obviously has to travel further, so it's gonna hang up in the air longer, and you run the risk of your opponent getting to the ball and hitting a winner on you. You don't want that, so make sure you're hitting your drop shot from inside the baseline. By the way, I'm curious, what's your favorite shot to hit? Leave it in the comments below. All right, when I took the test to become a professional coach, I had to hit the drop shot pretty low over the net or it didn't count, which sucked because one of mine landed like six inches from the net, but it didn't count because it was too high. Anyway, the ball had to bounce like two or three times before it crossed the service line. So if you can get the ball to bounce at least twice inside the service box, that's gonna be really tough for most players to run down. Don't worry about the height too much unless you're playing someone super fast. It's better to hit the ball with enough net clearance and make it every time than you hitting an ESPN highlight shot that clears the net by three inches that you only make one out of five times. One thing you do want as far as height goes is try to make sure the ball reaches its highest point before it crosses the net. In other words, as the ball prepares to cross the net on your opponent's side, it should be coming down already. Here are three tips that are going to help you hit a nasty dropper and get the satisfaction of seeing your opponent's face after you hit it. All right, tip one, you need a relaxed continental grip on the racket. See, the ball and the racket are colliding when you hit the ball. And for a great drop shot, you almost want the ball to win the collision. If you're too firm, the natural power of the racket will hit the ball deeper than you want it, and it's lookout time because your opponent's going to blast it past you. So shoot for a 2 to 3 on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being completely loose and 10 being that death grip, and let the racket absorb the ball's pace. All right, tip 2, you got a nice relaxed grip. Next, you want to make sure you're at a comfortable distance between you and the ball. If you're too close to the ball or too far from it, you won't have the control that you want. So what is a comfortable distance? Well, you want to be fully or nearly fully extended on the 45 degree angle into the court. I won't go deeply into this now, but go ahead and subscribe, browse my channel for my effortless power video, and I'll explain it in detail for you. Tip three, you're relaxed and you've got your spacing to the ball. As you make contact, you want to take the bottom out of the ball. Now think about following the curve of the ball at contact and almost carve out the ball like this. This is gonna give you a little bit of backspin, which will give you control, as well as make sure that the ball stays away from your opponent once it hits the court. And there you have it. Just remember to relax your grip, get good spacing to the ball, and carve out the bottom of the ball. And the next drop shot you hit will be a clean winner. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you as I enjoy making every video for you. And do me a favor, if you like this video, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below letting me know what you'd like to see in the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.